my name is Ryan and if you're watching this video you're a top boss in your company. I am a sports nutritionist and a CEO at my company and I help people that is sports stars, uh, athletes, celebrities and CEOs like you change their performance in the workplace. We do the change of performance via nutrition. In fact, nutrition plays a huge role in a person's lifestyle development. As the chief executive officer in your company, there are some key things that you can do for your own health. Every day we get a lot of top bosses coming to our clinic and we have realized that a lot of them are investing in their health via fitness and also nutrition. So I would like to give you, the CEO out there, five tips on nutrition which will change the way you think about your performance in the workplace. So I have a few CEOs who work with me and they always ask me this question. Ryan, how do I as a leader sustain stamina, endurance, for thought process and energy at the workplace? So I have come up with some quick tips and my first tip to every CEO out there is drink 8 glasses of water at your office table. Water is a key component in your brain. Water is a key component for your blood. Water is a key component to removing toxins. Water is a key component to maintaining hydration and the temperature control in your body. As a CEO, you would be going through the ups and downs of the day. By remaining hydrated, your mind will function better and by increasing your water intake, you reduce the stresses and the toxins that happen there in your body. So I tell a lot of CEOs, get a bottle of water okay, and put a smiley on it. That smiley should remind you to drink one glass of water every hour that you are at work. So if that glass of water is in front of you, better still, place it near your mouth. So every now and then when you are looking at a glass of water, you are drinking to fuel your performance. My second tip is to eat mindfully. When working with the managing director of Goldman Sachs, she said to me, Ryan, I don't have time to have lunch and not multitask. My reply to her was, Fine, don't take a 45 minute lunch break. Take a 10 minute lunch break. Listen to some soothing music. Look at that packed food that you have which is coming to you via a nutrition plan and eat it mindfully. You want the blood to be circulating around your digestive system, not being split between your mind and your stomach. So eat mindfully, eat in a relaxed format and eat for your efficiency at the end of the day. My third tip is, as a CEO, you're definitely on a fitness program. So if you're on a fitness program at the end of the day, what you need to be doing is eating for your workplace performance and you need to be eating for your exercise performance. So it's very important your workplace nutrition is a carefully packed lunch box and a carefully packed snack box which is at 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. This is important because as a CEO, you need to have fuel coming to you in small bursts throughout the day rather than one large breakfast and just running through the day on empty fumes. Imagine yourself as a Ferrari, as a Formula 1 vehicle. You need a consistent pit stop strategy and a race strategy wherein you are fueling for optimal and peak performance. My fourth tip to you would be invest in good quality food. As the CEO of your organization, I'm sure you invest in the best of technology, the best of furniture in your office, ergonomic chairs, uh, you have the best of people working with you. But are you investing in the best nutrition that goes into your body? So at the end of the day, if you can go organic, if you can go low fat, if you can in that workout get the right supplements to fuel your workout strategy, if you can get the right green tea into your office, Trust me, as a CEO, you will squeeze out 5 to 10% more on performance. So, eat with a quality goal in mind. My fifth point or fifth tip to you as a CEO is your quantity that you eat. We get a lot of people coming to our signature nutrition clinic and especially the CEOs who go in for an elaborate annual blood checkup and fitness test. What we are finding out is that we are getting alarming rates of cholesterol, liver dysfunction, kidney dysfunction because of high stress levels. 
As a result, you the CEO are popping certain amounts of medication and the doctor is saying to you, please exercise and change your dietary habits. Now, most people don't know how to do this. But the number one rule that I say to all my CEOs is eat to your heart's content. Now, why did I show you a fist? Your heart is the size of your fist. As a CEO, you want to be eating smaller portions more frequently through your working day. In fact, choosing the right quantity and the right type of food through the day will enable you to sit through those marathon meetings and still be fresh. One thing I know as a CEO is when I'm in meetings, I have to be 100% mentally focused in every one of those meetings because I need to take a decision. Sometimes when I eat the wrong meal, the meeting after that results in me being physically present but mentally absent because my mind has shut down. So at Quan Nutrition, what we recommend to all our CEOs is get your quantity of nutrition plan. Get the complex carbohydrates planned such that they deliver the correct amount of sugar. Eliminate the simple sugars. Look at an essential fatty acid strategy which will fire your neurons correctly. At Quan Nutrition, we're helping a lot of CEOs get through the top line and bottom line by maintaining sanity at their stress levels via nutrition. For a CEO, there are three important C's that I would like to wrap up with which come from the nutrition direction. One is, we can help you with your commitment. A commitment to stay true to a nutrition plan. Not a diet chart, but a nutrition plan. A plan which is put in place for your height, your weight, your fat percentage and your blood chemistry as well as your workplace performance requirements. The second C will be the control. How will you control yourself? You will be assigned a nutrition concierge who is a registered dietitian. She will call you up once a week to ensure that you the CEO are on track. You the CEO are manifesting the correct behaviors towards performance. And the behaviors that may not be good for your workplace performance will be aligned through a 100 day strategy. Stanford says it takes 67 days to make a new habit. Well, we want you as a CEO for 100 days to change the way you eat. And the third C, which is the consistency. In our annual CEO program, you are meeting us every month and getting through the process of learning how can I be the best eater for my body. Choosing the right meals, the right quantity at the right time. In fact, we're the only clinic that actually has a pro supplement strategy. So you as the CEO, we can actually make you look 10 years younger because you're running with management team that is 10 or 15 years younger than you. So you need to be faster than the rest of the pack. So call me, Ryan, the CEO of Qua Nutrition, and I will help you sign up on our CEO nutrition package. My number is listed here on the screen. I would be happy to take your call and advise you on how we can change the way you eat for performance. I hope you have a productive year and I wish you a healthy bottom line this year.